So it is going to be a haul with mini reviews, but um, forgive me if I haven't tried everything because I really haven't worn a lot of makeup this month to tell you the honest truth because I just have not felt up to it. But I did definitely want to tell you guys about these because they are things that are hitting the market right now. A few of these things aren't things that are from the drugstore. There's a couple of higher end foundations that I'm going to be trying out for you guys, but I did want to tell you about them. Okay. I don't know if you guys have seen the I Heart Revolution line hit Ulta, but these are these cute little donut palettes, which I just, I think they're just absolutely adorable. There's a, this is blueberry and then this is raspberry and I have the raspberry one on today. And I really have enjoyed how they have performed. They've performed really well. I wore the blueberry one other time and I, I liked the quality of them. I didn't feel like there was a lot of fallout. I felt like the pigmentation was really good. The blendability is really good. I will say that this middle shade on both of them, it is like a shimmer shade, but it's super light. So you almost need to put it over top of another one of these shades, which is not really a problem. And you could also wet your brush, which I find that it really didn't give a lot of pigmentation on that. Um, as you can see, it's super light, even though it is a shimmery color. I really love the blue one. The blue one's got some really pretty turquoise colors in there, cobalt. And then this one right here is kind of like a shimmery metallic periwinkle, which is really beautiful. Oh, and these little palettes, they do have a mirror too, which is actually pretty nice to, you know, just throw that in your purse on the go. Now this one from I Heart Revolution, this one is called One True Love, has this really cute, cool sparkly stuff on the front and it's in like a watery substance so it can kind of move around. Um, that's not why I got it. I didn't even know that it had that, but I really liked the colors in here. This is um, kind of a more along the lines of a pink palette. It does have a couple of little bits of like lavender and mauve, but it's got some really interesting colors in here besides that. So there's the colors right there. I would say that the ones that you can't see very much are these two lighter colors right here, which is right here and right here. Nice packaging. It's very heavy. It's plastic. It's not, you know, cardboard like so many are. Um, I do appreciate that. Nice mirror in here. Formulas seem to be blendable and wearable and the wear time is good on them. I definitely would say you need an eyeshadow primer with them. So if you're really into pinks or mauves, that's one that you might want to check out. Now, I'm not going to get into these right now, but um, I did pick up a bunch of new foundations. And the reason I'm not getting into it right now is because I'm going to do a complete wear test for you guys on all of these. These are not necessarily new to the market, but they're new to me. And I really have been wanting to step up what I'm trying for foundations because my foundation drawer is stuff that has been out for a long time and there's new foundations coming out all the time. So this is from from Pacifica. They are a completely green vegan company, if you guys don't know that already, but they're really an, an all natural company. So I'm going to be trying that one. This is called a light clean foundation. I'm going to be trying that one. Um, I'm also trying out the it bye bye foundation. I don't know how this one escaped my radar. Uh, but I got this one and I'm going to be trying it out too. I have worn this one once. I did like it when I wore it, but I want to give it more of a chance. You guys told me about the Maybelline Super Stay foundation. And again, I have worn this twice. And so far I've really liked it. I don't, when it says 24 hour, I don't think that it's a 24 hour foundation, especially not for me. Um, I'm the type of person that I have to have a nap in the day and I'm like, you know, face planting half the time. So don't necessarily know if it's 24 hour like the foundation, but I don't know if it's 24 hour. And then um, when I was an alt, I saw the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. I It says natural, naturally flawless. So anything that says natural and not matte, I usually go for. So I'm going to be trying that one out for you guys too. To the it confidence in a foundation. I have heard so many mixed reviews on this. I've tried it one time and it worked out really well for me so far, but I will be giving you guys an in-depth review of that one for sure. And then this is the Clinique Even Better Refresh Hydrating and Repairing Makeup. So I wanted to try this one specifically because 
it has a lot of skincare properties in it. I did try this one once as well. It was a little bit too dark for me. So I think as I self tan, this is gonna be just about perfect. But I will be reporting back to you guys on all of those foundations. What is that, like seven foundations that I have to try? I know that I have been kind of palette crazy in the past, but I definitely wanna, no, don't get me wrong, I'm not stopping my palettes, but I wanted to try and do a lot more branch out of different kinds of makeup. This one is the S volume booster lash primer I do like this one however I feel like it's almost too wet I'm hoping as it dries out and I try it some more that it will be a little bit less wet on my eyelashes because it just seems to make them clump together a little bit too much but that's only on one try um, this one is one that I have had in the past but you guys recommended it again and I really do like this one from lash princess it is the green one that is um, called false lash effect I don't I think that's what it is what I want to say about this is a fantastic mascara for making your lashes long and full and thick but the thing about it is it does flake on me so I'm hoping that I have another mascara now that I can just swipe over top of it to be I'll give it a little bit more of a waterproof boost to it and gonna see how that goes but I do like that this is from pure this is an original eyeliner stamp and not pure cause the pure cosmetics line it's p-u-r-e um, okay so these are stamps that you're supposed to be able to do the winged liner on one side and then the other. So you get two of them, you get a left one and you get a right one. And um, so I'll just kind of try and show you guys what it looks like right there. Hopefully that will come into focus. Um, what you do is you just put it there and then on the other side, there is the liner that you're supposed to be able to connect everything with. This did not work out. It was not good, you guys. The reason is, is because, you know, when you get older, you have this crepey skin right here, this little lapse right here, or this little overlap right here. And, you know, if you try to stamp on top of it, then if you raise your eyes, then you've got a little skip there. And if not, you can't see the darn thing. So for me, even though it's a great concept because I couldn't do a winged liner to save my butt, I think that I can't do a winged liner to save my butt because I'm of my age. So that one was a pass for me, you guys. I just had to pass on it. Oh, so I did say that I was doing more foundations, but I didn't say I wasn't going to do palettes. I got the rainbow palette from Rimmel. Um, I haven't had a chance to dive into that one, but if it's anything like the crimson and the violet, then I think I'm going to like that. This one is the Sugar Rush palette from Flower Beauty. And this one I have used a lot. I used it a lot before I got sick this month. And I really like this one, you guys. This is a, a definite yes. And I'd love to swatch it for you today, but um, just don't have enough time to do that. Then LA Girl, I there was a bunch of these out. This is called the Wanderlust Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, so that's what it looks like. This was not a good palette for me. When I used it, I there was a lot of fallout. It um, did not have a lot of pigmentation and it didn't last a long time. If you guys watch Sabrina, which I love that girl, if you watch her, she tested all of these out and I don't remember whether this is one that she liked or not, but this one for me is a hard pass. I haven't heard many people raving about how good these are, so I'm probably not going to pick any more up for myself. Okay, have you guys seen how great the liquid cat suit glosses are? If you guys haven't had a chance to pick these up, I highly recommend that you do. I have six of them. I put one of them in a dupe video where I was duping it in comparison to Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it really does hold up to that. Now I'll show you the colors that I have right here. Um, they're beautiful colors. I chose colors that were a little bit more, you know, in my wheelhouse, although I probably won't wear this coral very often, but I also chose some that I felt like I could mix together and get different shades. That really is the beauty of these is they're opaque. And so when you're mixing them, you're going to get something that your lips are covered with. They last a long time on your lips. They're not a super sticky formula, but they are enough to be able to hold that color on your lips. Again, I think that they're just they're very pretty colors. You have anything from nudes to really brights to fuchsias to muted colors. So I really have liked that. While we're on the subject of lips, I want to share for, share with you. This is the Flower Beauty Lip Topper. 
Um, this one I thought was really a pretty color. Um, I, again, I thought it was more pink, but um, getting it, it was just a little bit more on the orangey side, but on top of another gloss or another lipstick, I just think this would be so pretty. And then the I Heart Revolution is another one that I got that this one I'm not very impressed with you guys, honestly. This was a very thin formula. Um, I didn't feel like it wore very well throughout the day. It's right there. Um, like I said, you can barely see it's very sheer. The other thing that I didn't like it, it had a little bit of grain in it. Um, sometimes when you get glitter, you can get that feeling of having just a little bit of grit in there. That drives me crazy. I want my glasses to be juicy. I want them to be slick and comfortable. I don't want to ever, you know, put my lips together and have any sort of a grain on there. So I probably wouldn't go for this one again. I did pick up the True Match Lumi Bronze It from um, L'Oreal. I really like this, you guys. I don't know if any of you have tried it before. It's a beautiful satin bronzer. It reminds me so much of the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer. Just the way that it goes on, the way that it, um, you know, really enhances. Now that's a really dark swatch. You guys don't have to put it on that dark, but um, it just is a really pretty one. It doesn't have like a flat look to it, but it doesn't have like a high shine look to it or a shimmery look to it. Just really beautiful on how well it does on bronzing up the face. I do have this one on today. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Face Primer. Have you guys seen this yet? Okay. It is absolutely a jelly product. I don't even know if you guys can tell whether what that it's in there. It acts like it wants to come out. So I'm not going to tip it over, but this is really interesting. It feels extremely hydrating, but at the same time, I can tell that there is a little bit of those priming properties in there. I'm not sure if this has silicone or dimethicone or anything in it. I'll make sure that I throw that up on the screen. I don't know if this is a limited edition or not, but I really like this. Now, if any of you guys have tried this Honey Do Me Up um, from NYX, this is a lot like that. It's that watery consistency, but it, you can still tell that it's doing something. So I can't decide whether it's like holding my moisture in or whether it's really creating that base for the makeup because I did use just on the areas where I have a lot of pores, I did use a primer that does have silicone in it, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. It reminded me a lot of the Honey Do Me from NYX. Okay, this one, this is the Maybelline Super Stay new foundation that is the actual um, powder foundation. So creamy, you guys. If any of you love to wear powder foundations, but you felt like you needed to get away from it because of your age or whatever, I would think that if you had a really moisturized face and then you primed, if you wanted to just dust this just for a little bit of coverage, it does feel like a product that wouldn't accentuate any dryness. And you guys know I have really, really dry skin, so that can be a problem for me. So I will report back to you on that one as well. And then you guys, I have four highlighters. <laughs> Why do I have four, have four highlighters? Because I couldn't get five. No, I just, I, I came across these and I was like, I need to try these. Okay, we'll start out with the e.l.f. one. This is a rose gold highlighter. This is fairly new to their line. It looks like it's gonna be super duper beaming highlight, but it's not. It's kind of surprising. The only thing that I wasn't super crazy about was the color on it. It just was, a, uh, when it said rose gold, I thought it would be a little bit more rose than the gold, but it's not. It's more along the lines of the gold. But the formula is really pretty. It's really a beautiful one. I think that this is one that is going to rival the Maybelline um, Master Chromes. I think that's what they're called. I love that formula. Um, this one is just a little bit more stiff, but not not so stiff to the point that you couldn't, you know, blend it in and have it be just every bit as a, a beautiful highlight as those. So I'm going to try some other colors on that and I'll let you guys know, but I have liked that one so far. Worn that one. I think I've worn that one twice. Catrice came out with these two highlighters. Why did they come out with these two highlighters? I don't know because they're really close to the same thing. First of all, this is called the 3D Glow Highlighter. This one has, when you look in the pan, it like has some ice. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has some ice white color in there. And then it has like a color of almost like an off white. But watch this, you guys. It is so white. You would either have to wear that like on your eyelids or you would have to really, really sheer that out. 
I mean, it's like turning my whole hand white. So I don't know how impressed I am with that one to tell you the honest truth. And then this one right here, this one is called Arctic Glow. So this one is more along the lines of the baked formula as well, but it's a lot softer than that one I just showed you of Elf's. And again, it does have that white property to it. But the difference with this one is it's got just a little hint of the lavender pinky color in it. So it's got like the dual chrome colors going on with it. So this one, again, you could wear it on your eyes, but I do think that this makes a really pretty highlighter. I have worn it once. I don't think that if you're a deeper skinned gal that you would like this really. Um, I wish that they would come out with more colors when they come out with this kind of stuff. What is it with Catrice and not being able to come out with colors to fit the shade ranges? Who knows? There is a new master chrome from Maybelline and it has the Puma on the front. And I think it is called Puma. I'm not 100% sure. You guys, I don't know what I did with my glasses. Anyway, this highlighter, I actually have it on today. And you guys, this flips between like peach and coral and pink and gold. It just, it has the most beautiful property of, of going through all of those, look at it right there, oh my gosh. It goes through the gamut of all of those colors. I'm in love with this thing. Now I have every one that they've made, except for, I think there's one called Topaz that I don't have. But you guys, I love this. It is such an incredible duochrome that is believable without, you know, being just like too stark, too much. I'm going to put a little bit on for you guys, a little bit more so you can see what I'm talking about. But basically it's just that, oh, I don't even know how to describe it, you guys. It's just such a pretty beaming color. It, oh my gosh, that is one of the prettiest highlights I think I've ever seen. And I'm talking like I have highlights from Becca, Laura Geller. Um, I have them from Maybelline, from Ciate London. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters, ColourPop highlighters. I have a lot of highlighters, but this is probably one of the prettiest I have ever seen. I love it. So I would highly recommend that one for sure. I think it's so pretty. That's it. It did turn into a lot of reviews, didn't it, you guys? Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, if you like seeing haul slash reviews. I love bringing those videos to you. Um, I do like to show you, not just give you, you know, here's, here's something I got. I do like to tell you a little bit about the product and whether or not it was one that I really was impressed by or not. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here to the channel. We'd love to have you here as part of our family. And I hope that wherever this video hits you, whether it's the week or the weekend, that you're having an amazing day. I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.